Hello everyone. In this video I'll show another solution to my Cypress pagination challenge. We're trying to click on the next button until it becomes disabled. So in this solution I'm gonna use this fact that we want to click while the button is not disabled. How could we get the status of a button? Well, it's an attribute that we can invoke using jQuery method disabled. We can also use plain dumb node element and invoke get attribute. Um, how would we get the button? Well, imagine we have document. So if I had document, right, I could say query selector and use the same selector as we use right here by attribute value equals next. Unfortunately, we cannot get the document because by default, that would be either the spec document or the top level window. Remember, our application is running in its own iframe. Luckily in Cypress, you can get the document from the application by using sci document command, not surprisingly. And anytime you get something from a page, you pass it to a callback function sci then. So now we can get actual element and we can get attribute disabled. Okay. So in this case, we can say the following while this attribute is not equal to disabled, then we need to click. Now we can click in several ways. For example, we can wrap um, the result again of a query and then click. So let's see what happens. Oops. Um, okay. So maybe while well, maybe, oh, it executes way too many clicks by queuing them up and it never actually changes. It just keeps queuing them up. So instead of using sci wrap and using sci click, which queues up and then starts executing, why don't we dispatch an event? And we can say new mouse event. So we're using plain dumb code right here. Yeah. Let me restart this. The thing is fried. Okay. Because it keeps adding click to the Cypress queue. Okay. So this already worked. Now this is extremely fast because it just clips, uh, keeps sending the click events, like spamming the button, right? So at least what we could do is maybe side log clicking. Okay. So now it's click, 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 but it happens so fast that we don't really have dumb snapshots of a page. So it's up to you. I don't like this method because it's non deterministic and literally just keep spamming the button rather than clicking, confirming on a page, clicking again, and so on. But it's one of the possible solutions because using site document, you do have access to the document of your application's iframe where you can just write kind of normal uh, JavaScript code like I've done right here. 